Faith Mail Poet translates from Afrikaans into Five Mile Passage, or in metric terms, Eight Kilometer Passage, and that is exactly what it is, an eight kilometer long poet close to the South African Namibia border at Fjolstrift. The scenery is mountainous and rugged, barren and cork dry, as the N7 winds its way through the rugged port carved out over the millennia by the Kovit River, which is a typical desert river, wide and shallow, and seldom has any water in it. We filmed this port from north to south. As the cool waters of the Orange River are left behind at the border post at Fjolstrift, the N7 heads east-southeast, following the course of the river for about two kilometers. There are farms all along the riverbanks producing crops from the desert thanks to the life-giving waters of the Orange River, which is South Africa's biggest river and sustains life in this part of the Northern Cape. This is also the main national route between South Africa and Namibia, which means it's a busy road with lots of heavy trucks plying the route. There are 11 bends, corners and curves along the port, some of which have an arc in excess of 150 degrees. All of the corners have been well designed and have a wide radius, making this port relatively safe. The flat terrain inside the port also allows for good visibility and approaching vehicles can be seen from some distance away. The road has recently been upgraded and all the road markings and signage are excellent. Up till the 3.8 km point, the road is virtually flat, having only gained 30 meters in altitude. At this point, two rivers form a confluence to form the Kowip River. These are the Charles Fontaine Refuge to the west and the Kobank Refuge to the east, which the road now parallels all the way to the end of the port. The scenery is dramatic, with big jagged mountains surrounding the road and the feeling of desolation is palpable. There are several laybys where one can stop safely and enjoy the mood of the port. The road surface is smooth and the corners and curves are wide and comfortable, allowing a steady speed to be maintained throughout. The port has an altitude variance of 172 meters and displays typical easy average port type gradients of 1 in 50. The road is suitable for all vehicles. Fjols Drift is one of the official border posts into Namibia. There are several campsites on the banks of the Orange River on either side. Many river rafting trips along the Orange River and through the Ruchtersfeld start here. The Northern Cape is a land of many diverse cultures and of frontier history and brave missionaries. It offers countless challenges for adrenaline junkies, hikers, hunters and 4x4 adventurers. It has impressive parks with endless game and some of the most unique flora in the world. The openness continues to the vast copy-strewn plains of the Karoo. The gradients pick up a bit to around 1 in 25 from this point and maintain that slope till the summit point is reached at the 8 km mark as the road opens up onto a wide sandy plain. Continue for a further 57 km to reach the small settlement of Steinhoff. Mm -hmm.